there, welcome back to another episode. This is another What the Hell is This? This is The Passion of the Christ. Mel Gibson's uh, Jesus story, where um, according to this, it was all the Jews' fault, even though Christ was Jewish. I mean, to me, this one's on par with the worst, some of the worst films I've actually reviewed in this channel. This one is. I love this film. I'm going to warn you right now. If you like this film, Right now, I hated this film. I, I despise this film for passion. So, if you really, really love this film, I'd suggest you stop here. Because I will trash it. Like, really, really badly. So, um, I'm giving you a warning. If you don't... If you're, if you're offended by the, f of the idea of me ripping into this film, I'd stop now. Okay? Because it's not going to be... I'm not going to mince words about it. <laughs> Right, so, Passion of the Christ is one of the most anti-Semitic films I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it's stunningly hateful of Jewish people. And since Christ was Jewish, it makes it feel really weird. It's like, it's almost like he's a good Jew because he's the son of God, in my opinion, and an opinion of the film. But everyone else, ah, nah. Especially those ones who are actually of the church... You know, it's like, it's stunningly bad in that, in that regard. And as a film, it's kind of, um, it's an non-starter because it's, so, the acting's so bad in this film. Everyone, I mean, in fact, directed by an actor, the acting is, everyone looks like models. And they all just do the most basic stuff, the motion. They're trying to moat, but they're doing the most basic modelling stuff that you'd see in, like, primetime TV. And he even has good actors not being good. I mean, Monica Bullshit shows up this one, and she's not good. And she's normally really good. I mean, James Caviezel was a good actor. He's terrible, and this is Jesus. I mean, what the hell? I mean, um, he's been good in a lot of stuff, and he's been absolutely awful in this film. It's just like, whoa... I mean, because there's no charisma to the character at all. There's no sense of this person has something that people should be attracted to, that he's a son of God. There's nothing there. It's just this blank. It's like, if some guy came up to you and said he's son of God and he'd said all these things, you'd look at him as if he's a nut. Because there's nothing there to suggest that. It's just this blank. And it's... It's just odd. They do a few miracles, but it just feels like thrown away and it doesn't really feel it much. It's... It's, it's called passion of Christ. There's no passion involved. The only passion is watching Christ get whipped. A lot. Like, a hell of a lot. It's all about the gore and the pain and the suffering. But there's no actual suggestion of the suffering of this character... Suggest, suggest the suffering of mankind which what well, it should be I mean I'm not a believer but I understand the metaphorical impact of this story I've always liked these Christian stories and things there is a more metaphorical impact to them that's that, that, that has built societies and has been very instrumental in building society so it's not like I'm even though I'm pretty agnostic it's not like I reject all that stuff this is part of our culture for good and bad, there's been good stuff come from it and bad stuff come from it. I mean, the good is the way it has helped build communities. The bad is the way it's helped build mania with people who insist it's the only true fact and would go to war with anyone else who believes something different. I mean, there's, there's a double-sided to that. That's kind of obvious with just religion. But there's, there's an importance to the story, is my basic point, which you don't get in this film. What you get in this film is just brutality. There is no sense of... They do the thing, uh, this is my, the bread is my body, the wine is my blood. And there's a lot of bodily harm, a lot of blood, but you don't have a sense of the tie between them at all. There's no, there's nothing there. It's just like um, two events that are meant to be important, but they're not. Because you, the actual brutality against Jesus is so overblown, so gratuitous. It just feels like you're just watching something you don't want to watch. It's like, this is awful. And I'm not learning from it. And, and there's no sense in the flashbacks to that there's a metaphor that's actually been 
clearly planned out so you can get a sense of something evolving from the pain of this guy, what the guy's suffering. They don't do that. There's nothing near that actually suggests the, the actual metaphor they're trying to get across. It's just a bad filmmaking. There's just nothing that ties for the violence to any sort of bodily redemption or the sins being expunged from someone. It's just someone get absolutely brutalised for an hour. That's it. And what's worse, you don't, you don't even see Christ as what is the most, probably the most important part of his legacy, which is uh, forgive your enemies. It's said briefly, but it's not really there. And, you know, uh, turn the other cheek. An idea of forgiveness. There's not a, it's just like, um, there's a lot of stuff about um, his father in heaven and uh, masters and, you know, you know your master type of thing. And it's like, it's a power play and it's like, that's not really, f I, I read the Bible when I, was a, when I was younger. That's not really the Bible. Not the way I know it. <laughs> it's not really the, that's the thing, that put, that's the kind of stuff that puts people off Christianity, that kind of stuff. That's not the stuff that's healing and not the stuff that's community-based and helping people rise up. It's something much worse. It's like, it's taking the point and missing the entire point. And I just found it pretty reprehensible because it takes something that is a very important part of the development of humanity and just turns it into this freak show. And I think that's really bad for... Humanity, really, to actually indulge in this, you know, because um, you do have a kind of responsibility if you're taking the story on to try and make it at least have some sort of healing power. Even if you don't believe literally he's the son of God, but it was like philosophically a very important part of the development of humanity, and the, the story of Jesus is an important part of humanity. You don't have to believe it's literal fact, but it's just an important part of humanity and it's affected humanity over 2,000 years. But this film does not seem to care about the stories before. It does not care about anything, just the brutality. And it's like, there's so much more to this story than that. That's just the worst part to go at. It's just like, um, it's the most alienating part. And the fact it made so much money, it was like, what are some of these um, Christians who liked this film really about because this is really not what most people I know who are, who consider themselves Christians are really about. It's really not what they're about. It's like, what's going on? So there's that. That's the kind of darker side of the film. I mean, we haven't got to anti-Semitism yet. I mean, um, this is just the idea that the redemption element is really lacking and really um, thrown away just to be obsessed by violence against one man's body. And it's not redemptive at all. It's just cruel. I mean, if I saw this in a horror movie, I'd stop watching. Because I just feel you're watching a horror movie. But the worst thing, though, is the anti-Semitism. It's really pronounced and it's really... It's really harmful to everybody. Because, um... Yeah, if you look at the Bible, there was the tales of Christ into the temple and smashed the temple up and basically said that these people are using God's name for their own, um, their own wealth and to put their own power up. And there was a lot of things that people did not like the Jewish priests at the time because they thought they were just power hungry. You can have that, that's fine. But this film was much further than that. It does have them getting having Jesus arrested and dragging him in front of uh, Pontius Pilate and then to King Herod and back to Pontius Pilate. But it's so awful about it. It's like, um, yeah, they hated them, but these guys had no real power. I mean, they were living in a state that was um, conquered by the Romans. They did not have power. They could just say, we don't like this guy. Romans wouldn't care. The reason the Romans cared was Jesus was viewed as the king of the Jews, which is something that's really put well down this film. It's just like um, all these blasphemy to us and all the rest of it. Uh, he's going against our beliefs, which is true. He did, he did things that they did not like, but 
it, it emphasizes their power so much and re-emphasizes the Romans' power so much that it's insane. It's pretty much they were wanting him dead, they had to get him dead. I mean, it's like, no, I mean, there was a lot of rebellion going on there at the time. Pilate needed to make an example. They, the Romans had the power, you know. And most stories pretty much have it's the Romans who did it. Yeah, he didn't get on with the, uh, some of the Jewish um, religious leaders, but it was really the Romans who are the ones that ultimate power, because they would have crucified him. But this one pretty much says, oh, no, it's all the Jews. And I'm like, whoa, this is, this is dangerous stuff. This is bad. And, and they are portrayed pretty much as the devils. They're really portrayed horribly. And it's like, you're watching it, and I'm not even Jewish, and I'm like, oh, this is... This is really uncomfortable. This is like, um, there's something going on here that's beyond logical, really. And there's a hatred here that the Jews have had to live with for 2,000 years because people, they still get blamed for the death of Christ by a lot of people, a lot of maniacs who do it. And it's like, this is, um, you're taking what a few religious guys did who were not even liked by their own people and saying, Oh, it's everybody. And it's like, no. Because ultimately it was the Romans who did it. And it's that kind of thing that's really difficult to stomach. And I also have the bit where the Barabbas thing, where um, you can choose Barabbas or you can choose this guy to be free because you you always be free one person once a year. Well, of course I'm going to choose Barabbas because Barabbas was a fighter. That knew. Jesus was just this hippie that they heard stories of. It's like... Tactically, it wasn't a big thing. I mean, it was like, there was no way they were going to get the the freedom fight. <laughs> they were not, not, not going to give a chance to get the freedom fighter. And, uh, I mean, the woman's probably knew they would get Barabbas back pretty quickly. Anyway, it was just, uh, there's so many ways to interpret these stories and there's so many ways you can interpret them without being, like, well, racist, you know, and violently hateful and bring up some old wounds and trying to create hatred against a culture that's been punished a lot for centuries. This is like, uh, this is just horrible stuff. Trying to bring up something that was taking humanity so many years to actually put back in the box and just bring it back up and say, you know, it was them. And it's like, man, that's just reprehensible. Especially you're meant to be making a film about the, um, the death that would redeem humanity. And you're saying, nope, it's them. Get them. It's like, I, I just find that just disgusting. Also a strange movie, uh, because it is, unless if the, the Romans are with murder, it actually brings up something I'd never thought about before, which was the idea was like, yeah, the Romans actually killed him and then profited from his death for 2,000 years. I mean, pretty much, it's called Roman Catholics. The Italians pretty much killed him and then pretty much, um, they started... They built up the Christianity religion and uh, profited from it, and that became their power source for the next 2,000 years. And it's like, wow, that's uh, what a way to turn around a great disaster. Like, killing what some people see as a literal son of God and turn it around and making it your kind of propaganda for yourselves. That's that's quite a achievement. And that's probably why Jews always get hammered with, you help kill Christ, because the Romans are trying to say, no, it wasn't us, we, we, it was our, we just uh, we were victims even though we did it. You know, it's that kind of what it's been. It's not something I've thought about at all before re, just re watching this film. And it's like, wow, <laughs> Cause it, because I mean, the film is so hateful, it makes you think that way. And before I, I couldn't care less, and it's just like, yeah, wait a minute, they killed him, and they actually um, were the ones who got all the money in the land from it all, and all the rest of it. They were like, uh, yeah, the, basically, they it's, it's, it's sort of like the murderers. Um, getting an inheritance and it's, uh, it's it's a really kind of uh this film just brings up all the what worst darkest thoughts you can possibly have because this is not something i really care about that much you know because it's not my religion it's not my beliefs but just watching it's just like it is just so destructive and hateful and I mean, humanity can bring up anti-Semitism at the drop of a hat. I mean, it's obviously been a big problem for so long. And we've had the Holocaust. And it's like, why would you bring that back up? Like, what? 
what have we got to gain from this? It's just hatred. It's a film that's full of hatred. And there's just no redemption in it. And that's the real... It's just the thing that really gets me, my goat is the just redemption. And it just brings up the idea that... One of the reasons why the Jews always get beaten down is the power of people want to promote that story rather than... The Romans did it. <laughs> but it's also that this, this film is just so bland when it comes to dialogue scenes and... His view of Satan, it literally is this androgynous character played by women but it's bald head and it's like anybody who's like from a subculture they're the great satan the children are turning into demons and things like that to um, torture judas there's no intellectual curiosity of why people believed anything they believed they were just like viewed as cartoon characters i believe this and rawr. so satan's not scary at all you see satan floating through the background and it's like you're not a presence, but you're just a sign that the director hates your culture. Anybody who's not just like him, um, very right wing normal, like the carpenter who's a a good person who believes in God and who believes in the very basic family stuff that all the director believes in, as a Satan, it is his believes in Satan or something will will burn Christ down or something and all humanity is viewed as anyone who's not that anyone who's not someone who's a disciple of Christ is viewed as an animal basically like the Romans are obviously animals most of the people who vote against Christ are animals not like you don't get a chance to see that maybe there was there was a reason why things happened that doesn't matter they're viewed as almost animals who are just horrible things that you don't want to too near. And the film genuinely has a disgust about people and a, and a view that people are horrible which makes the redemption arc really weird because there's no redemption because it presents people as so irredeemably awful apart from these few good people that believed in Christ and believed in the miracles anyone else is horrible and even when I try to suggest maybe one or two of them are decent it's very half-hearted and it's just like um, everyone's just doing all this sort of suffering in a very animalistic way. It's just like it's, it, it does make you think that the filmmakers despise humanity and it's like well, why are you doing the film about redemption of humanity? You, you have no interest in showing the redemption through visual metaphor. You're just interested in having Christ basically slash to death. You're not interested in the people around them like anyone the emotional toll and how it could redeem them no you want to portray them as animals you have no interest in anything you just want to portray the worst in humanity and then say oh I came back to life at the end so humanity is redeemed I mean it does the thing it's accomplished you don't feel anything it's just like there's all these special effects things going on and it's like I, I don't care there's nothing here there's nothing actually about humanity here. all there is is uh, it's all about how humanity dehumanises itself. And that's not a good, very good metaphor. Not a very good way to take such an important story. Like, we're all horrible people and that's it. And it's like, jeez, it's so cynical. And it was lapped up as a film of faith. And it's like, it's the exact opposite. It's a lack of faith in this film. It's a lack of faith in people. It just focuses on one small part of Jesus' life and say... Oh, but it's really redemption of humanity. It's like you've shown no redemption. You've shown no nothing. You've shown nothing about the actual character, the person, and what the person was about, and what the person was trying to portray to people. You just basically see them at the end, and you get little snippets of about ten seconds of a few of the scenes here or there, and they don't match up with what you're showing. It just they're just people spouting dialogue as a mod as a models basically. It just does nothing there at all. But humanity, there's just no faith in people. This is just one of the most horrible films I've ever seen. And it's a real it's, it's a real shame because even though I'm not a believer, it's good to have films about the Christ story that are positive because it is ultimately a positive myth for humanity. It's something that actually should... I don't think it should be powerful over everything else I just think it's a good myth we've got a good story we've got that is important to a lot of people 
some people will leave it, some people don't, but it's an important story for humanity and it should be done with respect. And this film does it with very lot of respect. It's its own weird agenda that is really hateful. And that's why I think it's one of the most appalling films ever made. But that's me. You know. I hope you enjoyed this video and me ranting about this film, but I really hated it. I, I doubt I'll ever watch it again. Um, I saw it in the cinema now, I saw it again for this video, and that's, I think that's more than enough for me. I'd rather watch something that's actually good for your soul, rather than this. Right, bye for now, I'll see you later. <laughs>